All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, welcome to the grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony for the MCEF Training Center and the 20th anniversary of the Mississippi Construction and Education Foundation. I'm Steve DeSalvo, I'm the general manager of the Mississippi Braves, and I'm also the president elect for the Pearl Chamber of Commerce. So, welcome everybody here this morning. Sorry about the rain, but uh, we've got a great uh, place to have this, and, and we welcome you all here today. We're going to begin the ceremony today with an invocation from Gary Greeland, the South Central Director of MCEF. Would you pray with me, please? Father, we are so humbled to be gathered here today, Father, in your presence. And Lord, we thank you for the many blessings that you give us. Father, I thank you for this foundation and what it has meant for the last 20 years. Father, to train and to educate young people in the construction trades. Father, I thank you for our industry and what it means to so many, the, the incomes and the, the job opportunities that it provides. Father, I thank you for this new facility here in Pearl, God. Lord, we just thank you for everything we do, Father, that uh, everything we can do that we can do for your honor. Father, just to continue to park the waters for us, Lord, just protect us, watch over us. Father, I ask you to bless everyone here today in their travels, give them traveling mercies. Father, bless us that so we can be a blessing to others. For we ask all this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 All right, right now I'd like to bring up and introduce John McHenry, Alderman at Large in the City of Pearl. Thank you, Steve. Uh, we've got a great looking crowd out here today. I want to welcome everyone to the City of Pearl. Uh, I want to uh, welcome MCEF for their great building that they're building here today, and we're excited to have them in the city of Pearl. I want to congratulate you on your 20 years of service, and we look forward to 20 more years of service. Thank you. All right, right now it's my pleasure to introduce Lee Nations, the president and CEO of ABC Mississippi. And uh, I would like to uh, first congratulate you on this great new facility and your 20 years of training professionals. And also, um, I would like to present you with a commemorative this clock. That's why I really asked me, why is that clock down there? It's not the time. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's good time. Well, we can use that as well, the timing as well. But a keepsake for this special event. And again, we want to congratulate you. Thanks, Dave. And again, I'm Lee Nations, president of ABC Mississippi Associated Builders and Contractors. We are one of uh, numerous construction and manufacturing associations that are part of MCEF. Um, and it's a great occasion that we can come together and look back on 20 years uh, from what started as commercial contractors get together and deciding to, to, in essence, tax themselves and say, we want to invest that money in training. And what we've, what we've come from at that point to where we are today, the number of young people and adult craft people that uh, they have touched and put into the workforce. And hopefully with this facility, uh, it'll be the jump start of even bigger and better things going forward for MCEF, so we're certainly excited. Um, I know y'all don't want to hear from me. We've got a couple of great guests with us today that I do want y'all to hear from. Our first guest certainly needs no introduction. He's a uh, pro-business uh, advocate of ours in D.C. He's up there. Uh, he's been fighting on our behalf for years, taking care of our delegation when we go up there to visit. Um, and I will, I will add, he gives the best capital tours. If you're ever in D.C., call him up. Uh, it's quite enlightening. So with that, let's welcome our Congressman, Greg Harper. Thank you, Greg. What an honor that to be here and to see uh, this amazing facility and to think of the great work and planning and the future uh, for our state and how many young people are making a decision to, to get into the workforce and do something that uh, – is a great thing for them, for our state. There's nothing like a good job to change the life of a young person. And uh, so we're excited about what this is going to do in that, in that effort, uh, in that education effort. So for MCEF, uh, congratulations on what we're doing for ABC and all the great people that are here. Thank you, Lee, for the introduction, all your great work you do to stay in contact with us. Uh, honored to be here with our Lieutenant Governor, Tate Bruce, who we'll hear from in a minute. Uh, certainly who is uh, extremely uh, pro-business on things that we need to do. And uh, Mike Mulvihill has uh, been great work with us, as has Mike Marquette. 
Uh, so look forward to what they're doing, what's going to be planned. You know, we, uh, we think about the things that we have and the opportunity that Mississippi has. We have so many things going on around the, uh, the world right now. Uh, and it probably life might be better if we just didn't watch much news on occasion. Uh, but I can tell you there's some good things happening on the national level that I think are great for business. We've had an opportunity to reduce some of the regulatory burden that have been done through uh, CRAs, uh, Congressional Review Act bills. There have only been one ever done and signed into law by the president uh, prior to this year. We've already had 14 of those that will reduce that regulatory burden in almost every industry area that you can think of. So uh, that's what government needs to do sometimes, just get out of the way. But we have an opportunity here to, uh, to do some great things through this facility uh, for our future. Uh, there's some things we need. We need to come up with a way uh, to how we're gonna fund our highways and bridges. Those are important things. And, and at some point, we have to talk about it, but we need an interstate highway from Jackson to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. You know, there, and it just doesn't happen unless we start talking about it. So we're willing to, to work in any way we can, uh, but the future's great. Just don't ever lose sight of what a wonderful place we live in. Uh, this is a part of what we're going to do here, and to be here, uh, it's a great honor, and I'm excited. And congratulations to this team for the for the incredible effort. God bless you. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, same scenario. Our next speaker certainly needs no introduction, but I'll, I might steal a line here. So, you know, I, I've heard. Lieutenant Governor Ray speak a lot, and, and one thing he harps on from his conservative background is government is not there to create jobs, but their role is to create an environment where businesses and things like we're doing here at this training center can go out and create jobs for the private world, and that's what we really appreciate, his efforts in pushing that agenda and uh, being a friend of ABC of construction, of training, of workforce development, manufacturing, so we appreciate all your efforts over the years, so please welcome Lieutenant Governor Tate Reed. Thank y'all for giving me the opportunity to be here. It really is an honor and privilege for me to be here today. I don't know if the congressman or I had a shorter drive here today, but it's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. Quite honestly, he's got a shorter drive because I have to drive down Lakeland to get here. But whenever we get the new road from Flowood to Crossgate Boulevard done, Representative Moore, we're going to get that done real soon. Absolutely. Um, whenever we get that done, that will it'll be a different story. Um, it, it really, this is something that, that I'm excited about uh, because it really fits in line with, as Lee said earlier, what we've been trying to do in the Mississippi legislature for the last six years. Uh, as Lee said, we believe that our number one priority in state government must be job creation, bringing better and higher paying jobs to Mississippi. But we also have a political philosophy that says government does not create jobs. Government's role is to create an environment so all of you sitting in this room can invest capital and create jobs. And if every single piece of legislation that comes before the legislature, if that's the question we ask, if we ask the question, if we, if we pass this legislation, is it going to help us create that environment which encourages job creation? If the answer to that question is yes, then we should all fight together to make sure that that legislation passes and becomes law of the land in our state. If, however, the answer to that question is no, we ought to be fighting equally as hard to make sure that doesn't occur, that bill doesn't pass, and it doesn't become law of the land in our state. And so that's what we tried to do in the last six years, and this facility is a recognition that if we are to work together to train more people, whether it's in plumbing or HVAC or in the electrical world, that the jobs are available for trained personnel. And I think that this building is a recognition that those jobs are available. We just gotta work together to do an even better job of training them. We've worked closely with our friends in, in the House of Representatives. Of course, Carl's Representative Ray Rogers is here today. I saw John Moore walk in earlier. Uh, we also have someone that we've worked very close with uh, on this particular issue on workforce training. The chairman of workforce training came up in Itawamba County. Representative Donnie Bell is here today. I think that shows a commitment by legislators here 
in Pearl and Rankin County, but also a commitment by legislators all over the state that we are going to work together to make a difference. And I think that's something uh, that we can all be proud of. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today, for working to make this facility become a reality. And I know that once uh, young people and middle-aged people and old people alike actually have the opportunity to come through this facility to learn a skill, they and their lives and their families' lives will be better for years and years to come. And that's something we can all look back on and celebrate and be proud of. Thank y'all. Thank you, Governor. We appreciate that. Um, over the years, MCF has had many crucial partners. One that is certainly very key to the success we've had has been the Department of Education. The support that uh, they have given the program uh, down many avenues. Our next speaker has certainly been a big cheerleader for what we're doing. He's the head of career and technical education for the Department of Education. That's Mr. Mike Mulville. Today represents the culmination of 20 years worth of dreams for the Mississippi Construction Education Foundation. And all of that took a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears. So everybody in here that had a part of that can congratulate themselves for looking through this facility and what it's going to mean to the state of Mississippi. First of all, I want to commend the board. One of the toughest things in the world to do is to have an organization have a sustained level of excellence, excellence over a number of years. The board has made some really good decisions, and that leads to student outcomes and student achievement. So what Congressman Harper and Governor Reeves talked about, trying to have people in the workforce, is exactly what this organization does. We have about 4,500 students a year at the high school level that go through one of these MCEF programs. Now, we have to do this district by district, program by program, and student by student to make sure that everybody is ready to go to work. That's where Mike Marquette and his staff come from. They are out there tirelessly in the field. They do a great job of cheerleading and encouraging, sometimes doing a little arm twisting and so forth, to get people to do what they need to do. But every year, this group works with us to try and decide how do we get better each and every single year. And so the results will be seen as these bills are passed and these regulations are, are changed and reduced. And then I think the last thing is many people have probably seen the fact that the unemployment rate has come down dramatically over the last few months and so forth. So when that happens, typically construction picks up. So these students are going to be on the forefront of literally building the state of Mississippi as the continental tires come in, as the interstates are built, and that type of thing. Last month, NCEF hosted a student achievement banquet that they do every year. So we had the opportunity to see some of our best and brightest that will come out, they will start their own companies, they will become construction engineers, they will work tirelessly, and they will build careers, pay taxes, in the state of Mississippi. Today, we celebrate the opening of this facility and the 20 years that MCEF has been in business from the Department of Education. We're looking forward to the next 20 years uh, working with MCEF, and we appreciate every single thing that they've done over the years. Thank you. And our caboose for the day. Um, I will say this, my involvement has not been 20 years long, but I've, I've heard about and was around since the inception. We've had very few leaders of MCEF since its inception, which I think speaks of the organization, the strength of it, um, the backing of the members, the associations, and the industries that support it. Um, but now we've got our, our fearless leader, Mike Marquette, who I will say has been on board how many years now? But as president, five years. I can tell y'all in the last five years, we've certainly seen some tremendous growth, some tremendous progress, and uh, we're appreciative of all his efforts to get us to this point this day, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to what we can do going forward with this new facility. So with that, we'll welcome Mike Barkin. We've been talking up here about uh, everybody keeping it short. There's some folks that I've got to thank. It may take just a tad longer than the others, but please forgive me. Uh, Congressman Greg Harper, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves, Representative Donnie Bell, Representative Ray Rogers, and Representative John Moore, and all our family and friends. Uh, we're so glad that you could join us to celebrate this uh, grand opening of our new career training facility and the 20th year birthday of MCEF. Uh, the first 20 years have flown by so quickly, it seems like it was yesterday that we began uh, to move forward, and we thank you 
to our founding fathers for uh, having the vision to create this educational foundation uh, to train tomorrow's workforce. The MCDF Board of Directors uh, continues to support that mission to recruit and train a quality workforce for the construction and manufacturing industries as well as for the state of Mississippi. I would like all of the Mississippi Construction Education Board of Directors to please stand and let's recognize them if you would. Guys and gals, please, if you would. Jim, wave There are two board members uh, that I want to recognize as well that have served on the MCEF board since its inception. Uh, one could not be with us today, and that was Mr. Dan Holliday, and the other is uh, Mr. Jim uh, Stewart. These two gentlemen have served without any time off. They have held position on our board and have been with us since 1996 when it was founded. Uh, Jim, I know you're here. Please stand. Had it not been for our founding fathers, we would not be here today. And so I want to recognize our founding fathers and to tell you just a little bit of history about how this all began. Uh, one is the grandfather, I guess, of the group. Uh, he was the beginning, and that was George Maloof. If you talk to any of our founding fathers, they'll tell you George had the idea we moved forward. George is not with us today. He was in, he's in Arkansas working, but George was a member of the ABC at that time. Harry Nations, who now serves on MCEF uh, committee and staff, Harry, please stand. Harry served as an ABC rep at that time. <laughs> Buddy Edens, who was the ABC CEO at the time, uh, represented ABC, and Jim Stewart, Jim, if you'll stand, he represented Miss Lou Brick at that time. One more time, Jim. <laughs> These men represented three trade associations that realized the need for an educational foundation to be created to train tomorrow's workforce. Partnering with the Department of Education, the School to Work program, as it was known, began and was piloted in Hines, Madison, Rankin, and Warren County. There were seven career and technical centers that got on board, and there were about 40 students uh, when we began back in 1996. They were utilizing the curriculum which was called Wheels of Learning at that time. Today we have, as Mike said, over 4,500, closer to 5,000 uh, secondary students being trained in 109 of 113 career and technical centers. Now, the first question is, well, why aren't you in all of them? Well, those other centers don't have a construction or manufacturing program at this time. We're utilizing what's now called the NCCER curriculum. We also have 15 community colleges on board utilizing the same curriculum. Our apprentices utilize the same curriculum, which means that we, MCEF, trains over 8,000 young people, middle-aged people, old people in one year. So that's a pretty good uh, undertaking on our part. I would like to thank at this time Lee Nations, the uh, president of ABC. Lee, thank you. Frank White, who is the chair of ABC board uh, for building this building and for the ABC board of directors for making this dream come to reality. So as in closing, as an old high school baseball coach, I'd like to take a, a line from the baseball movie, Field of Dreams. Kevin Costner, as you know, if you saw the movie, here's this voice in the back of his head. It says, build it, they will come, and it whispers it over and over again. Well, ABC built it, MCEF came. So we're excited to be here. We thank all of you for joining us for the uh, dedication at this grand opening for our 20th year anniversary, and uh, it couldn't be a better and, and brighter day. We are really excited, and we really appreciate your being here. So, with that being said, I'm gonna turn it back over to Steve DeSalvo, so he can direct us uh, as to how we're gonna do this ribbon cutting, and then we can enjoy some great music and some food which is being catered by Ben.
thank you all for being here. Steve. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody who spoke and also congratulate everybody on this great facility again. And uh, as was just mentioned, although he gave me way too much credit to direct you on what to do, I think we're going to have the Pearl Chamber staff really direct you on, on what we're going to do. And this would be about the time, we're going to have the ribbon cutting ceremony. This would be about the time, in fact, it still says in my notes, and Kathy told me that it did, that we're going to head outside, but we're not going to head outside. So we're going to come up here and do that ribbon cutting. So thank you all for attending, and we're going to start our actual ribbon cutting ceremony. And stick around afterwards. Thank you. Yeah. Y'all don't I'm looking